crowdfunding had just started to kind of become something that people knew about and, and uh, it was really wonderful to be on the forefront of that and Sky News did a piece on us and uh, so did Time Out and uh, Evening Standard and, and we became kind of uh, a band that people knew us because of our crowdfunding and that was really exciting because a lot of people got in touch with us and wanted to know more about how they could do it for their band or their film or their project and... Um, so that's something we've carried on doing. We did another pledge campaign last year because we wanted to make a wonderful video that was uh, done by this team called Love Love and it was this animated video and we decided that we wanted our fans to actually be in it. So we set up a pledge campaign and, and if, they, if they donated, they could also send in their photo and be a part of the animated adventure of that video. And then just recently we, we did a Kickstarter campaign because we were so happy Kickstarter finally came to England and I've always been really into what Kickstarter does. It, it really supports its artists and it's a wonderful platform and I love of supporting people and, and looking at what they're up to. So when I found out they, they were going to be launching in England, I was right on that and, uh, and we decided it was the time to do another um, crowdfunding for raising money for our third album. And we had an incredible, incredible thing with that because we asked for 5,000 and we actually got 8,900 in, in the end and it was incredible. It was, it's, it's just really amazing to keep in touch with with the people helping you every day as well. And we were sending updates and we were in places like Germany playing to, I don't know, 3,000 people? I don't know how many people. 6,000 people in this night. And we asked them all to shout thank you to our Kickstarter fans so we could film it. And, and then they all got involved with it the next day. And it, it really kind of ran away with us. And, and we're very, very lucky because, you know, without fans, bands like us are nothing. And we will always do this independently. And we just think that it's a really great thing to be able to do that these days with, with the internet, with people, with power of the people. Uh, we're all in this together is a song I wrote a few years ago that we're going to play you. And I wrote it before it became a political statement. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I haven't used my iPad once. Yes! So let me introduce you to the band. Uh, this is Millie on violin, everyone. Paul on tuba. Rich on trumpet, Mr. Neil Woods on the drums, and Stephen Ellis, who also writes with me and is a huge, huge other animal on guitar. We're going to do what we do better. Let's sing. <laughs>
to get you up dancing in the last song, but I was about to say it before this song, and then that would have been really awkward because it's not a dancing <laughs> song at all. <laughs> I have done that on quite a few occasions. Uh, this is the song that I was talking about. We're all in this together, and I really believe that we are. They gathered up the crowd No one was left guessing No one was proud They saw him on the bridge With his head and both his hands 
So this is our last song. Do you want to get up? Go on. It's Saturday night. Come on, let's do some dancing. We're also going to ask you to sing along with us on this bit. But it's not hard, I promise. But a huge thank you to Julian for asking us to do this and to all at Lost Lectures for Simon for looking after us, to the amazing sound man Neil, who's a legend, and I nearly actually killed today with my guitar. So thank you for still being alive. Um, and uh, yeah, wonderful. Thank you all for being here. And the other talkers were incredible. Shed, I'm so impressed by you, and we're all like, we're not worthy. Anyway, this is a song called uh, What's the Ones That Got Away? <laughs> Gabby Young.